daughter is a serial killer. I just found out she may be something much worse. But there, hiding in the corner of the room was the cardboard box I was looking for, the reason I had not been in this attic for years. My mouth a bit dry and my hands trembling, I walked over to it and dragged it over to myself. Then I took a deep breath and opened it. Lying inside was a series of old, leather-bound journals I had hoped I would never ever have to look at again. It was the names and detailed torture and murders of every person my family had killed. The bloody and brutal legacy of the witchfinder generals that we used to be. Except, there were no witches. You already know this if you know anything about the witch trials. What witchfinder generals were hunting was much, much more ancient. They were hunting the old gods. You see, this world belonged to the ancient ones long before it became our home. It belonged to beings that were so powerful, they terrified us. But slowly as the world changed and less and less people believed in folk tales, so did they stop believing in the tales of the old gods. And what are gods without prayer and fear to keep them powerful and immortal? So they began to live amongst us to adapt to their mortality. Less powerful. Less able to protect themselves. And we used that adaption against them. We hunted them in the name our own god. We told ourselves that this is what needed to be done to keep our species safe. That we were servants of God doing his bidding. My family carried this tradition on for years, finding what was left of the ancient ones and decimating them. All the way till my father was born and refused to train in the ways of his father. My father killed his father when he was only a teenager. He was trying to protect a girl who would later become his wife. My mother. He kept the journals. He kept them to tell me of the history he was ashamed of, to tell me that I must never go down this route. I had read them years ago and shuddered at the amount of lives my family had stolen. And I never had. I had lived a good life and raised a good family. Or so I had thought. I turned the yellowed old sheets, reading name after name in faded ink. Finally, I found the thing I was looking for. It was there in the third journal. The last words of an ancient goddess that was burned alive. Elemen Zerodi Koaki Ayat or Kepura. Tanu Devadok Paya M or Ed Mistu. Iladi Gadra Devat Ga or Ruf Uru Keterai. As I spoke the words aloud, recognizing now that they were not in a language no one understand but a language no human was supposed to understand, I saw them change slowly into English. For every one of us you kill. We will take a thousand of you in return. Our vengeance will speak through your own blood. But the thing that made my blood run cold were the words Fiona had not said. The words that were below the ones I had just read. Sitting there written in faded old ink were the words, Fear not your death. But what awaits every one of you after?